Is your partner your person? Hey there, I'm Sharon Pope. I help strong and successful women who are struggling in disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles inside their marriage or be able to move forward without regret. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe. So today we're exploring whether or not your partner is your person. Now, what do I mean by that? Is my partner my person? Well, your person is your go-to person that you reach out to. They're the first person you think of when something happens in your day, right? It could be something funny. It could be something ironic. It could have been something scary. It could have been a celebration, something that you really just wanted to share with someone that you thought was really cool. When your partner is that first person that you think of to text or message or call, or the first person you wanna tell, even when tragedy strikes your life, then they're your person. But oftentimes our partners start out as being that person for us. But over time, we start to withhold information. We start to share things with other people. You know, maybe we find resonance more easily with other people, or they give us the reaction that we're looking for. Whatever it is, every time we stop sharing the details of our day, we're taking a step back from our marriage. And so every day when things are happening and we're sharing those important and very unimportant details of our day, right? Because not everything is important, but just like the details of our day the little surprises, the little things that are happening throughout the day. Every time we share that with someone else or we decide to just keep it to ourselves and not share that with our partners, we're taking a step back and every one of those steps back away from the marriage, every step in and of themselves isn't significant and you won't even feel it. But over the course of years, that's a lot of steps away from your partner where over time, then your partner isn't the obvious choice of who you wanna reach out to when life gets real. And then you don't know how to find your way back to your partner being your person. So it's a good question to ask yourself, is my partner my person? And if not, why not? And then you gotta talk about it. You've gotta be able to talk about it. Like one of my clients, she said, I realized through this conversation, that he's not my person. And so she was willing to have a conversation with him to just talk about that concept. And so she asked him, am I your person? And he didn't quite answer, which I think is good because he's really thinking about it, right? And we all deserve to have a go-to person. We really do. But when we start to make someone else that go-to person, we're creating distance inside the marriage that we may not want. So it's good to become intentional about it, no matter how far away you might've drifted by now. If you are trying to find your way through a marriage that feels lonely and disconnected, and you don't know if you can find your way back to one another or how to even begin that process, I want you to go to clarityformymarriage.com. From there, you'll be able to take your next step forward if it feels right for you to see if there's a fit for you and I to work together. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it gave you something to really chew on and think about. And if you like what you heard, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. If you wanna know and be notified every time we post a new video, at the end of this video in the upper left corner, you can click that button and you'll get notifications. Until next time, take good care.